teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos, in talking with them this week, Kirk, it's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Four down, four down. Mike five. Set. And they make the stop at the 46. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Throws complete. He's hammered. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Ready! He's tackling at the 35. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He picks up a good seven yards there in the quarterback keeper. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. My five, my five. Ready! 180. And down he goes at the 28. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd and this stadium. I'd like to see them roll the dice here and go for it. If you can't convert, let your defense go to work with a long field behind them. Fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Western Michigan is looking to go up by three. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Looking for his man, incomplete. Second and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's taken down around the 27-yard line. for his running back, incomplete. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. And this one is a beauty. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Western Michigan has a three-point lead. A two-yard run by the halfback. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. It's second down and eight. 
Ball on their own 38. Under pressure. Tackle around the 44 yard line. Man, left, man, left. Becoming the 12th man. The crowd is always into it here. Here we go. Well, the defense did all there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled right around the 20. Called his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. He's scrambling. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. Makes it out to about the 39. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. That brings up second and five. And he is drilled at the 46-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. Makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Makes it out to about the 26. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. So at the end of one quarter, Western Michigan in front, 3-0. That makes it second and 10. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 17 yard line. Outside the goal line. He's on the run. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. 
So a 13 play, 80 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Ohio State lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He scrambled, and he can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made at the 29. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread him out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. Booming kick. And down he goes at the 36. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Ohio State is up four. Tackled after a decent pickup. Pick up a five on the option to the fullback. And they hit him in the backfield. Great job here in shutting down the run. It's a real boost for this team. That brings us fourth and three. And they're coming after this punter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Broncos know, I think, that at some point, they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, we've got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you've got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Set, red 18, red 18. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Brought down at the 39. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 39. My five. My five. Fires quickly to the tight end. The quarterback was just lucky to get that pass off. He was under a lot of pressure in the pocket. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go, go a little bit more manageable. White 80. White 80. Hut -hut. Hut -hut. Go, go, go. Gives it to the back. He fights forward to about the 43. They need to do a better job of managing the clock here. You're right, Brad. Not only was that a horrible play in terms of yards picked up, but also, as you mentioned, in terms of all the time that may be wasted. And so it's another third down upcoming here. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. He 
is hit immediately. So close, but they fall short of the first down. you got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. This punch bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ohio State holds a four-point lead. Scrambling around, looking for the corner. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 31. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 44. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Going long. The defender had it and then dropped it. We played a half. Ohio State leads it 7 3. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And he goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense, ready to get things going again. Ohio State is up by four. A little handoff. Gets to about the 27-yard line. It's the tailback, and he's tackled oh, after positive down. yardage. Right, right, right. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. it out to about the 44 yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. He makes his way to about the 48. it to the 34. From the 34-yard line, first down. Mike, Mike, 
There's a strike complete. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Ohio State is up four. He goes downtown. He's got a touchdown. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. And he hits the PAT. A nice nine play, 74 yard drive. And they put up seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And he's tackled at the 18. Ohio State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. From their own 29-yard line, it's first down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Ready! He zips it. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. Seven yard line. Game of that brings up second and one. What are you doing? Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. They come out in an empty backfield. Now he's scrambling. And he hits him hard at the eight. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike five. Let's Mike go. Five. Green 95. Green 95. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That'll be a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. up the loose ball. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball.
So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. for a loss that's a loss of about five this defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes so the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play so it's fourth down they're going to try a long field goal here kicks up and it's good Like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. That's a gain of 13 on the play. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. High five. High five. Ready. That's a great tackle at the 30. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have after that. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. 17-3, Buckeye. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Let's go! Red 68! Red 68! Gets it out. He's met immediately. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it. They'll bring him down at the 27. That makes it fourth and long. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires right side. Got his tailback. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll make it 39. From their own 40-yard line, third down. Hey, let's calm down. Hey, 
He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. So they get about three on the draw. That'll make it fourth and six. He really got a hold of that one. Tackle at the 12-yard line. There just wasn't anywhere for him to go. Sure, he didn't go backwards, but this return could have been a lot worse. We're about set to start things up again. They come out in a five-wide set. Excellent open field tackle. Game 16 on the play. First down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Quick out to his receiver. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Mike five, Mike five. Ready. And he's level at the 47-yard line. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Just under three to go in regulation. He's going to air it long. Almost picked off. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. And he is drilled at the 47. He wants it all going long. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. He goes over 100 yards in receptions. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. Tacks on the extra point. A nice seven play, 88 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. The score now 17 10. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Well, we're over two minutes to go in the game. The offense has a chance here to secure the victory. All they have to do is pick up the first down, keep the clock moving, and be able to get out of here with a win. And he's immediately tackled. The Broncos will use their first time out of the half. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Taking back three yards. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. He gets sacked on the play. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. 
He's tackled at the 48-yard line. The Broncos coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for them. Well, the offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Spikes the ball. To get back in this game here in the fourth, this third and goal is vital. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Hit on the throw, he caught it. He's pushed out of bounds at the 41. Carries the ball for a nice game. Check, check. 200 check. 200 check. 200 check. Let's go. Red. Throws it in a hurry. To the 10. Touchdown, Broncos. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice five-play, 48-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Western Michigan to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he can't get away from the pressure. Losses eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. He's scrambling. Broke away from one. And they make the stop at the 36. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. He's looking for his man. Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. First and 10, ball on the 35. He gets rid of this one. Scrambling around. That scramble gets them seven yards. series. The Buckeyes call a timeout. That's their second of the half. They'll go ground. And he's taken down around the 11-yard line. The defense is making great plays here late in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game. And the question now is which offense can rise to the occasion? 
So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Three down, three down. Let's go. Mike, Mike, 51. Mike, 51. Pressured and brought down. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 29-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down at the 12. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. He's out of bounds at the five-yard line. Gonna try and scramble. They'll make the sack. That is a loss of six. That's what I'm talking about. Third down. From the 11 yard line. Third down. Mike 51. Six man. And he hits him hard at the 21-yard line. That makes it fourth and long. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. From the 25-yard line, first down. They come out on an empty backfield. With the pass incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Just throws this one away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. The crowd at this stadium, always a factor in a football game. On the throw, incomplete pass. Wow, Brad, you talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, he might want to work on the accuracy. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's good. The tension is going to rise a little bit more now. We'll see which team can overcome the pressure. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Ready! White 80! White 80! These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. That'll make it second and four. to that quickly. He's tackled right around the 16-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it.
He gets it up, and it is good. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams because now anything can happen on this second series of overtime. It's first and ten. Ball in the 25. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. yard line. Loss of five, five on the play. play. That'll bring, bring up second, second and 15. 15. Woo! Man left, man left. It's second down, 15 to go. Down, Ball on the 18. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. <laughs> Makes the catch and he might take it. Great throw, great catch, great game. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Ohio State 26, Western Michigan 23. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.